you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before my name is Hannah Valentine and I am so excited to start on today's video if you read the title I am basically going to be making my very own trip pants I'm going to take a regular thrifted pair of pants and turn them into my very own like my version of like the trip NYC pants I am so in love with how the trip pants look with like the chains and the straps and just how industrial they look and I love the ones with the skulls on them and I love how big they are and I really 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 we've wanted a pair for the longest time but they are so expensive like if you've ever looked into getting your own pair of trip pants they are quite literally hundreds of dollars so I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial of of how I'm gonna make my pants but also if you guys want to make your own at home I'm gonna show you what supplies I got where I got it from kind of like what I'm doing here like how I'm dyeing them what I love about this is that I get to customize it like completely so I'm very excited about that so I've already done a little bit of shopping for some supplies and I've already went to the hardware store so I could get some chains and some o-rings and I already went to Joann's to get some dye. So I have spent a little bit of money on it. And so far, I think I've spent around $50 on it so far. The actual pair of pants themselves were only a dollar at the thrift store. I think I spent like $30 at Joann's on dye and like D rings and swivel hooks and thread, like all that good stuff. And then when I went to the hardware store, I got chains and O-rings, so I have been a lot of places, I have been shopping, and I will show you everything that I got. So I'm very excited to start on this. Also, if these pants turn out really well, I really want to make a pair of trip shorts and trip, uh, like a trip skirt as well. So if these turn out good, I'm going to go ahead and make videos making a pair of shorts and a skirt too. So if you enjoy this video or you really want to see me make the trip skirt or the trip shorts, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I love you. Stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and start. So here is the pair of pants that I'm going to be working with on this project. I really like this pair of pants and I picked this pair because they already have like the big pockets on the sides which like trip pants are known for like their big huge pockets. So I didn't want to have to like make my own big pockets to sew onto the pants. So I just bought a pair of cargo pants at Goodwill. Alright you guys so I am so excited to show you my design. So here is the final design that I have been working on for the pants that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the inspiration images that have really inspired me and this final piece. These are really 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 like the pink and black colorway so that's actually the colorway that I chose for my pants I kind of wanted to channel like my inner <laughs> Avril Lavigne so I really liked her like skater boy videos and like her girlfriend music video where she's wearing like pink and black so I really wanted to uh, channel that so these are kind of like such a dream pair of pants I really love the skulls so I did take the skull inspiration from these pants and I'm gonna paint pink skulls on the pockets of my pants. So these are also killer as well. I actually took the like chain on the side. I took inspiration from these and I put them on my pants. And you guys, all these pants are available for purchase on Depop. These are just screenshots that I took like yesterday. So if you are interested in buying any of these pants, here's the price at the bottom and here's the person on Depop. Just go ahead and search up their name. I really, really, really am in love with these trip pants. They have like a corset design and the straps have lace on them, which I think is totally killer. So if I ever make um, my skirt, my trip, my like my own version of a trip skirt, I'm definitely going to incorporate the corset design that we see here. What else? Okay, so for these pants, they have like a zipper at the bottom with a separate panel inside. So what I was going to do is since the pants that I chose like aren't really flare pants, I wanted to insert my own panel in them. So I was gonna put the like a pink panel in and I was gonna screen print like little black skulls on them. Pants are gonna be black themselves, but the panel that I'm gonna add in is gonna be pink. So here is kind of where I got inspiration for the skull panel. So that skull panel is gonna be in there. And then again, with the chains that I'm gonna have on the bottom on the side, I really got inspiration from these two where they have like the chains going on by the hem. And then for my trip pants, I have this like strap going from the middle of the back to the front 
So I took inspiration from this pair of pants, which kind of has that same thing going on. And it has the removable swivel hook, which I added into this design as well. And I got some from Joanne, so I am all prepared on that end. And then here's just some pants from eBay that I also got inspiration from. So yeah, here is the goal. Here's the final design that I'm gonna be working on. Like I said, the pants themselves are gonna be black, but there are definitely gonna be some pink accents. So it is gonna be a pink and black pair of trip pants. So here's all the supplies that I have so far. I got this die from Joann's as well as the swivel hooks. And then I got this chain and these O-rings from the hardware store. And I also got these zippers from Joann's. And the plan for the zippers is that they are gonna go from the end of the pocket all the way down to the end. So I don't know if I got the right length. I didn't measure them before I went. So I just laid down the zipper and I'm so sad. I got it a little bit too long. I think I'm gonna go to Joann's and get a smaller one. So when I was at Joann's, they gave me two different kinds of swivel hooks. And I'm not sure which one I want for the pair of pants that I got. I think I really like Maybe this one, maybe this one for like the middle of the back and then two small ones for the front. And then I can return these two. I think that would look good. Okay, and then for the writ die that I got, I don't think I got enough. I think I might've gotten enough for the pink one because I'm just gonna be dying another pair of pants that I'm gonna be using as like scraps so I can make the straps. So I'm gonna be dyeing this pair of white pants pink, but I don't think I got enough to make these green pants black. So I'm gonna have to see how much it'll cover, and I know I'm definitely gonna have to go back to Joann's um, so I can return these swivel hooks. So I might have to get another um, Ritz box. Okay, so I just got back from Joann's and here's what I ended up getting. So what I ended up getting was silver zippers. I exchanged the zippers that were too long for zippers that fit. And I got silver ones because I wanted it to match the rest of the hardware. So we have silver zippers, silver chains, silver O-rings, etc. I also got grommets. And this one comes with like a little tool that you use to install the grommets. And I've never worked with grommets before, so I'm excited to start experimenting with using grommets on these pants. And I also did get more black dye, so I'm very excited about that. And I also got some fuchsia dye, because I did get the pink dye originally, but to me, I didn't want it to turn out like coral pink. I wanted it to be like, like pop star 2000s pink. So I got some fuchsia that I think I'm gonna mix in with the pink just so it doesn't turn out like too corally orange. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and gather up the, the supplies to start dyeing the stuff today. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in with you guys when I'm ready to start dyeing. All right, so I changed into clothes that I don't mind getting dye on and I have the dye with me and I have the pants that I'm gonna dye and I found a bin in my garage that I'm gonna use and I have some uh, water boiling on the stove because we need to do it in boiling water so I'm just looking at the instructions right now on the dye
zippers on the side of the pants. All right, so I just took the zippers out of the packaging. So what you're gonna wanna do is put this end at the top. So whenever you have the flares, you can just like unzip them and they'll be like a V. Cause if you do it like this, that's not gonna work. It'll be like a backwards V and you don't want that. So you want to have like this part be at the top. So here's what the plan is. So I just cut the seam all the way from the hem all the way to the bottom of the pockets. So it is as long as the zipper. And what I'm gonna do next is place the zipper. I'm gonna place it upside down on top of one side of the cut that I just made. And I'm gonna pin it to that one side. And then I'm gonna do a single line of stitching. I have never sewn a zipper before, so I just watched a YouTube tutorial, so we're gonna hope that this turns out okay. I am going to be sewing the zipper on this side, and I pinned it on the other side because they didn't want the pins to be in the way of the stitch. Alright you guys, so now that I have the zipper all sewn in here, as you can see, I kind of sewed it so the seam is not visible from the outside. What we are going to do now is cut a triangle piece of the pink fabric and we are going to sew it in here so when you unzip this, it has the pink panel inside. So what we are going to want to do, get a piece of the fabric. For these pants, I want the... The triangle bottom, I want the bottom to be about eight or eight and a half inches. And the length is gonna be 20 inches. So what we're gonna do is measure eight by 21 inches, cause I'm just gonna add an inch just because for a sewing room. What you're gonna do is measure 21 inches and then at the top, you're just gonna do a little pencil mark. So you're just gonna cut it the length and the width that you want it. Don't worry about cutting it into a triangle, just cut a rectangle for now. So what we're gonna do is open up the zipper where the panel's gonna go, and we're actually gonna put it in backwards, just so we can trace the triangle size that we need. So what you're gonna wanna do is line up the rectangle bottom to the hem that is on the pants. Take a pencil and trace it, or if you have any kind of other like sewing chalk or any kind of writing instrument that would work great. And you don't really have to like worry about it, like changing the color of the pink because this is the back, so that's why we flipped it over so you're not writing on the front. And when you pull it out, you have the triangle that you need to cut. So when you cut it, I have my rotary cutter right here. What you're gonna wanna do is actually cut maybe an inch or a half an inch from that line that you drew, just so you have room to sew. So as you guys can see, here's the pencil line that I drew, and I just cut about an inch out just so I have room to sew. So now you're going to turn your pants inside out. When you sewed on your zipper, there should be like these little tabs for where you sewed like the zipper to the fabric, and you're literally just gonna sew it onto those tabs. And you don't have to worry about folding it or putting it in any certain way. Literally just sew it like that. All right, you guys, I just finished showing the sides of the pants and they turned out so good. I am so proud of myself. These literally look so amazing. So here's what they look like up close. And on this one, I cut the hole too big, so there's a little bit like of a pink area there, but it's no biggie. So all the stitching is on the inside, so you don't really see any stitching on the outside. And here's what they look like open, and then you can go ahead and zip them up too. And then you have the like original pants and you just have a zipper down the side, but like, I'm literally so proud of myself. Is this not like the cutest thing ever? I don't know if I gave like a good tutorial on how to make like the zipper flares, but I think I definitely wanna make like a separate video where I just show you guys like, like very in detail how to make like zipper flare pants. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably make that video next after this one. So here is the zipper flares. So I just cut all the little fabric straps that I'm gonna be using to make like the little uh, pieces of fabric that the O-rings and the D-rings are gonna hang on. So just like these little pieces that the O-rings are gonna hang off of, that's what I'm going to be using these for. The dimensions for these are three by six. And what I'm gonna be doing is taking it again and just folding it hot dog style and then i'm gonna sew this and then i'm gonna turn it inside out hi 
Hi you guys, so it is currently day three of working on these trip pants. These pants are turning out so good. I can't wait to show you um, what I kind of finished up yesterday and what we're gonna do today. All right you guys, so now that I have basically all of the detailing done that I'm gonna be doing on the pants, so what I'm gonna do is do a straight stitch on each side. All right, so after sewing the straps, here's what they should look like. It'll look a bit more like professionally made, which is like kind of what I want. But yeah, just kind of sew a single stitch on each side to give it a more like industrial look. And I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the pieces now. All right, you guys, so I just finished cutting all the pieces that I'm going to be putting on the pants. And I really loved how they turned out after I did the stitching. It looks much more professional and so much nicer than it did before. So I definitely recommend doing that. So what we're gonna be doing now is putting the grommets onto the little straps that I'm gonna be putting on. All right, so I just did the first grommet and it looks like this. I think you kind of see how it's like bowed. I don't know why that happened, but maybe I'm gonna try and not do that in the second one. All right, you guys, so now that I've put all the grommets in these straps and they look absolutely amazing, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the pants. So at the top, I just did a zigzag stitch and I just folded it over the back so it has like this clean look at the top. So now I'm gonna be sewing the O-rings onto the little attachments that I'm gonna be putting on the pants. So I have to sew this little bit, this little bit into the pocket right here but it won't fit into my machine because it's like at a weird angle. So I'm gonna be hand sewing this piece into the pocket right here. So I just finished making the straps that I'm gonna put on the pants. So on the straps, I did the same thing that I did with all the other pink parts that I'm putting on the pants. I basically just did a single stitch on either side just so it looks like a little bit more professional. So I do have my two straps that I'm gonna hook on the pants now. So there is the two straps on the O-ring that will be on the back of the pants. And there it is on the pants. So now I'm going to put the other swivel hooks on the other end of the straps. Hi you guys, it is currently day four of me working on my trip pants. They are almost done. I literally only have two more things to do and I'm so excited. This is taking me a couple days to complete. You guys have been on this whole ride with me so I don't wanna do a reveal yet but basically what I did last night was I put the chains on the pants and that's pretty much all I did off camera. So yeah, they're basically all, like all the hardware is on and all I need to do now is paint on the skulls on the sides and for the panel, the pink panel on the bottom, I don't think I'm gonna do the little black skulls. I feel like it wouldn't look good with like the big skulls already on them. So all there is left to do today is paint the big skulls on the pockets. And I wanted to make my own version of like the trip tag, like the iconic trip tag, but have it be my name. So once it's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and do a final reveal for you guys. And then I'm going to take some pictures for Instagram. I'm so excited to start painting. I'm gonna go ahead and start that right now. So in regards to the paint that I'm going to be using for the pants, I don't have a pink that's going to match exactly the color of the straps, but I'm, but I'm gonna try and mix it the best I can. But the brand that I'm going to be using and the brand that I use for all of my fabric painting projects is Jacquard Textile Paints. It works well in the wash. I use it for all my pants painting projects. So I have red, white, and neon pink here, and I'm just gonna try and mix it the best I can to match the color of the straps.
All right, you guys, so the pants are finally done. They turned out so, so, so freaking cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the big reveal. I'm so in love with how these turned out. Every single part of these pants, I am just totally in love with. I think my favorite part is the fact that they actually go past my ankles and over my shoes because I am five foot 10 and it's hard to find pants that are long enough to go over my shoes and actually fit me. So I am so excited and super happy that these fit me. These pants were so, so, so fun to make. They only cost about $50 in supplies to make, like I said. So I basically handmade these trip pants for under $50, which is super, 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 like such a nice price. I am so proud of myself and how I did with these pants. They look so amazing. And if you guys ever want to make your own pair at home or you kind of take some things from this tutorial um, and, and do it on your own pants, please let me know. I want to see what kind of trip pants you guys make at home. So thank you guys so, so, so so much for watching and making it this far if you got all the way to the reveal I really really appreciate you I would also really appreciate you if you could go ahead and please hit the subscribe button and maybe follow me on Instagram if you like my Instagram is at shop soda I do plan on making two more videos similar to this where I make my own pair of trip pants and my own trip skirt so if you guys really want to see those I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and hit the bell just to be notified when I post those so thank you guys so much for watching again I love you so much be sure to drink your water Water and you guys have a good day.